YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Graven here with another video and another episode, a special episode of NFL questions from subscribers. And what's questions from subscribers is it's a series where you can ask me any NFL question you want to based off of any NFL team. And we answer it in a video just like this. Now, if you would like to be a part of NFL questions from subscribers, then you can send me an email to team, keep it clean at gmail.com. Don't send it anywhere else. Send it to team, keep it clean at gmail.com. And then we'll possibly answer your question in a video just like this or the live streams like you you know we love to do. Uh, team, keep it clean. I really love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, yesterday was a very, very uh, special day. It was a very different day, too, because as y'all know, I have to tell y'all all the time, me and my family, me and my wife and Carter, we spend a lot of time together. Like, I know y'all see, like, a whole bunch of videos. We see videos every single day. But for as many videos as you see... Me and my wife and Carter, we spend like probably like four or five, 20 times that amount of time together. Um, Carter does a school from home. She works from home. I obviously work from home. And so we're together a lot. But even outside of work and school, we always vibing together, chilling together, playing video games together. For those of y'all that follow on Instagram, y'all see stuff sometimes. But yesterday, yesterday was different because yesterday, shout out to my guy Cam Neal for the suggestion. But yesterday when we were spending time together, I turned off all the notifications from Twitter. Turned off all the notifications from Instagram. And I said, no, no, we it, we going to be all in the moment. Because usually, a lot of times, I'll be like 90% in the moment. Then there'll, there'll be that 10% where I'm like checking my phone. Oh, man, what's going on? Let me see if I'm missing anything. But yesterday, I was like, no. We are going to take this time off and be all the way off. And I was telling her all day yesterday, like, man, this, this is one of the best days ever, man. This is one of the best days ever. And I was thinking, like, man, if we miss something, okay, oh, well. We'll just catch up on it later. But it just so happened that nothing happened yesterday with the Ravens or anything in the NFL, really. So it worked itself out. But I just I really, really appreciated it. So it just gave me a nice little friendly reminder of balance uh, and proper balance and a healthy balance. You can work hard. Definitely work hard. Whatever you do, work hard at it. Um, but also remember to relax and enjoy stuff just as hard, too. Uh, so anyway, team, keep it clean. We got a question from subscriber today from my guy, TMW. He said, you see how these Ravens are trying hard to get a wide receiver? <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been seeing it. We saw it with, of course, Juju. We saw it with T.Y. Hilton. We saw it with Sammy Watkins, and they circled back around with Sammy. But anyway, we, we've seen it. We've definitely seen it. Uh, he said, but losing Judon and Ngakwe will hit hard. Now, we know the Ravens, they didn't put up any sexy numbers when it came to the sacks. We know that. But they definitely were up there when it came to QB hits. And the thing about uh, Judon, Judon, he, that's the QB hit king. You know, that dude, he loved getting him some QB hits. Now, this, in the sacks department, it was kind of lacking a bit, but it was like that with the entire Ravens team. So Judon was not alone in that situation. And in Gakwe. We all, tr we traded for Ngakwe. He was somebody that, I can't say we all, but a lot of us were very excited when he came on board. And I think most people were probably excited when he came on board. We were like, oh man, we've been waiting for this. Me personally, I had been wanting this for years. And the Ravens actually did it. I was like, oh me, oh my. And I had even said plenty of times, like, man, the, the sign, the bring, them bringing in Ngakwe, that pretty much spells the end of Mad Judah. That pretty much lets you know, hey, if they're going to have to choose between the two, it's going to be Ngakwe that gets the deal. That was obviously before this season transpired and before or we saw the Ravens time that was spent within Gakwe and how it just uh, it wasn't the best match it wasn't the best fit and it just it was kind of like a uh, small to medium sized yikes he wasn't bad or anything and he would just almost get to the quarterback he would get so close but so far at the same time but he wasn't a bad player at all he's not a bad player at all it just it just wasn't the best fit so Ravens moved on from both him and uh, Judon and now they, they've had, they have sort of a deficiency at the pass rush position. But let's get back into his question. He said, I think we should go for somebody like a Justin Houston. Or, and Melvin Ingram. Or really, and or. Uh, so what are your thoughts? So, you know, Ravens, if they like somebody at pass rush, like we've seen uh, with a unique Ngakwe, if they really like somebody, and at first they don't succeed, then they'll be willing to try again. This happened with Justin Houston, I want to say, two years ago. They love Justin Houston. They like Justin Houston a lot. They wanted to bring in Justin Houston. They wanted to sign Justin Houston. But what happened? Justin Houston was like, hmm, I'm going to go to that old Baltimore team. Not the new one, but I'll go to the old one. 
I'm going to Indianapolis. Sorry, Ravens. And a lot of people were like, oh, we missed out on him. That sucks. And he could have made the pass rush that much better. And he'd been doing his thing over there with the Colts, but that relationship has come to an end now. So do the Ravens like him enough to where they're, they'll circle back around? Uh, we'll see. But with Melvin Ingram, uh, he's somebody that uh, I, we, we, we talked about him before. Uh, and he would be somebody, I mean, really both of these guys, I wouldn't mind. And even if the Ravens got both of them, I wouldn't mind. Now, one thing to keep in mind too, is that the, 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 when the comp picks don't count against the, uh, well, when signing people don't, doesn't count against the comp pick formula. Cause you know, Ravens love their comp picks. And right now they're scheduled to get two, uh, for the losses of Yannick Ngakwe and, uh, Matt Judon. Um, that's sometime in May. So Ravens and a lot of teams could hold off on signing some guys until then, but my thing is like, man, and they're going to get another comp pick for David Cully, too. So they're actually scheduled to get three. Um, but my thing is with the comp picks, like, you could hold out and you could wait until, like, these, these guys don't count against the comp pick formula. But if you really got somebody that can really help your team out and can really, like, push you over another level or even I'm not saying that these guys are really, oh, they will take the Ravens to the top or anything like that. But if you got somebody that's sitting out there, you waiting on that whole comp pick formula, oh, man, that could just not destroy you, but you could really miss out on something big time. You really could. Uh, so Ravens, we'll see what they do there. But as far as um, he's talking about the pass rush, obviously. We're speaking about Matt Judon and, uh, and Yannick Ngakwe and then the possibility of bringing in Justin Houston and Melvin Ingram. Uh, so they, they could go for a veteran. They obviously brought back Tyus Bowser, but we know he's going to be doing a lot of dropping back. Him and Judon play the same position. Uh, so he's I, I don't expect his sack numbers to be super high, anything like that, because he's not going to strictly be a pass rusher. And make sure while we go into this season, Please keep that in your minds, that Tyus Bowser is not strictly a pass rusher. He's going to be moved around. He's going to be doing different things. He's going to be dropping back in coverage a lot. That's what Ravens will do with somebody like him, and he's good in coverage. So Ravens should be using him that way too. So don't think that the, he's going to get some crazy sack numbers, anything like that. Don't expect it, I would say. That'd be nice if it happens too, but he's going to be used to do a mix of things. But... Who else do the Ravens have at pass rush? Well, when you think about the defensive line, of course, you got Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell, Derek Wolf. Monstars are all back. Shout out to Brandon Williams and Calais Campbell for restructuring their deals and Derek Wolf to, for, to agree in with, for that cheap, cheap, super cheap deal. Um, but then you also have uh, Jihad Ward left as well. Uh, you have Jalen Ferguson, who was inactive for uh, the end of last season and even in the playoffs, too, I believe. So there's him. You did bring back Pernell McPhee, but again, Pernell McPhee, he's, he's an older guy. Our defensive line, yeah, they they definitely some veterans. We got some veterans there. Uh, but if you brought in a Melvin Ingram and a Justin Houston, it would definitely bring some veterans there too. Keep some veterans there. But what you really want right now, you, you want a good combination of both speed and power. Speed and power. So who could give you a good combination of both of those things? Youth. That's why if Ravens are on the clock at 27 and if somebody by the name, I know a lot of people, they love Jalen Phillips. I, and I got to do some more research on him. But from what I saw from him so far, yeah, he definitely looks the part. Um, but for after he had his pro day the other day, yeah, he's he, he's not going to be there, man. There's no way that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that that dude is at 27, man. If he is there, hey, Ravens, do your thing, man. Especially because he went to the U. So it, he's been in Miami, so he'll fit right in with the Ravens, with the Florida Ravens. But anyway, uh, if he's gone, then, of course, I know Rashad Bateman is that Talk about Rashad Bateman, too. If Rashad Bateman's going, too. If Aziz Ojulari is sitting there, if he's sitting there at pick 27, you take him. Take him. Take him. Man, my guy JT put me on to Aziz Ojulari, and I was like, oh, wow. I love it. Because when I watched him, he didn't look like he was the fastest guy on the field. I mean, he's a defensive lineman, but he didn't look like he had any crazy speed or anything like that. But I, I believe he ran a 4-6, I want to say. So that's decent, but I mean, for a defensive end, that's, that's good. 
But um, when he strikes, when he hits the quarterback, he does it with power. He does it with power. And he is a sure wrap-up tackler. And when he gets to the quarterback, he doesn't let him go. Another thing that I liked about him is that they put him on different stunts. They moved him around on that defensive line. And he is somebody that he gets after that like he he gets after that quarterback. And I, I love how my guy JT put it. And he talked about when he talked about Aziz Ojulari, um, he said that he's somebody that again, it, it's not about he ain't got no particular move that's his specialty. He's not a one trick pony or anything like that. But he lets it be known through his play that he is going to get to that quarterback by any means necessary. Any means necessary. I've seen this guy rush from the inside. I've seen this guy rush from the outside. And again, that's something that I, I, I think the Ravens are really trying to go for when it comes to their defensive line this year. But he would be somebody that is obviously young. He got some good speed, but he got that power too. And he is a very relentless pass rusher. So would a Melvin Ingram that be cool? Would a Justin Houston that be cool? And I do still expect the Ravens to add a veteran at the pass rush position, but you have to have an injection of youth too. Now, Jalen Ferguson, he is technically an outside linebacker, but he's not an outside linebacker. He's more so a D end. He's definitely a DN. Like my guy, B, uh, what's the B word 52 said a long time ago. He said, J Jalen Ferguson, his hand needs to be in the dirt. Needs to be in the dirt. Dropping back? No. In coverage? No. His hand needs to be in the dirt. He needs to be setting that edge. He needs to be a defensive end. But Aziz, Ojulari, man, if he's there, I, I would not be mad. There would be no complaints from me if the Ravens scooped him because that would be a score. I would love that. And I think that would be a very, very big solution. Maybe not even the solution. If, if it was the solution, that'd be great. But he could be a part of the solution when it comes to the Ravens' pass rush. And you mix him in, again, with Pernell McPhee and the defensive line and all those guys. Tyus Bow You mix him in with everybody. Hey, it's a match for me. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to my guy, TMW, for this question. And, like, hopefully Aziz Ojulari won't be uh, when it comes to pick 27. And, well, he won't be off the board. Uh, oh, man. I, I'm, I'm trying not to fall in love with any, any particular prospects because I don't want my heart broken like it was last year. Because if y'all were here last year, y'all remember, man. I, um, when I, I, Jerry Judy. Rugs, C.D. Lamb, I was like, oh, Ravens, please, please. Oh, I know it's not likely, but I was like, oh, Ravens, please. And then, especially right but the night of the draft, literally right before the draft, that news came out about the, the Ravens trying to trade for DeAndre Hopkins. So I was already falling in love with these draft prospects for the Ravens, even though I knew it wasn't likely to happen. And then Adam Schefter dropped that bomb about DeAndre Hopkins, the Ravens trying to trade for DeAndre Hopkins and failing. And my, my heart was just, oh, that was a tough night, man. That was a tough night at the wide receiver position for me, man. I was just like, oh, goodness gracious. Why? Why, is, why? why so much heartbreak? When I heard their names get called, I was like, oh. But it's all part of the process, man. I love y'all, man. Uh, y'all stay up. Y'all continue being positive uh, and be good to people, man. Team, keep it clean. This was an episode of NFL Question from subscribers. <sighs> and I'm out. We gone.